you can say that you are diverse, that you value diversity, that you value others and you respect their faith and their, our differences, but to stand in front of a group of people, if you're a nurse and they're nurses, and to say, this is, you've asked me to teach you about neonatal resuscitation or whatever it is, and to know that they care about that as much as you do, and to be able to share your experiences and your learnings and to learn from them as a, another human being, there is no better place to be on earth than that place. All that East, West, Muslim, Christian, clash of civilizations stuff just flies out the window. You are human beings trying to look after other human beings and that commonness overrides everything else. Donna Kennedy Glanz is the kind of woman who doesn't back down on tough issues. She is a champion of constructive engagement and believes that solutions to seemingly impossible situations can be found through dialogue in the world of international business, in the workplace, in politics, between faith groups, anywhere. Not only did she write the book on corporate integrity, Donna Kennedy Glantz has been a real-life, on-the-ground practitioner of constructive engagement, first as a lawyer, then negotiator, then executive in the international energy sector, working across the globe to bring communities, host governments, and investors together onto the same page. As a lawyer and facilitator, Donna went to Yemen and other countries where the company was doing business. She met with local leaders to understand and address their business, social, and environmental concerns, something she says not all companies make a priority. I think we've got a lot more to learn about how to hear the voice of the community and how to integrate that into a business model so that we're building stronger companies that can be more responsive to social expectations. In 2003, she launched a volunteer organization called Bridges Social Development. Leaders in places like Yemen, Egypt and India asked Donna to help them to train professional women in have-not communities in their countries. Bridges volunteers from Canada include doctors, nurses, midwives, lawyers, judges, management experts, teachers and journalists. They share their knowledge and experience with their counterparts in these countries. It's called human-to-human, face-to-face capacity building, building up the ability of local leaders to be champions of positive change from within their own communities. When I started going into Yemen, women didn't, um, largely did not go to study at high school or post-secondary levels. Now, as a policy, that country encourages women to be educated. Um, I'd like to feel that uh, I was part of the push for those kinds of changes. Donna Kennedy Glanz was born the eldest daughter to Wallace and Eleanor Kennedy on a farm in southwestern Ontario. Every day, Donna took a long bus ride to local public schools, elementary school in Teeterville, junior high in Wyndham Centre, high school in Delhi. She graduated top of her class in high school, securing a scholarship to Wilfrid Laurier University in Waterloo, where she scooped up a double degree in history and English in a record time of two years. Then she headed to law school at the University of Western Ontario, where she graduated on the Dean's team, putting herself through school by picking tobacco and writing columns for a local newspaper. For the last two decades, Donna has called Calgary West home. She met her husband, Lori Glanz, a Calgarian, at a Conservative Party National Convention in 1981. The couple married a year later, and after graduating from law school, they moved to Calgary. Donna and her husband have raised three sons and are active volunteers in local public schools, the university, faith communities, and a wide variety of other community-based activities. This is a woman who appreciates the life that Canada offers to its citizens, but she doesn't take this life for granted. She's worked in more than 30 countries, many of the Muslim-majority countries where tensions between Islam and outsiders could be divisive. As a woman working in places where gender equality expectations were often unclear at best, she looked for similarities rather than differences. Her candid, human-to-human -human approach has broken down barriers and built lifelong relationships and trust. In September 2009, her second book, Unveiling the Breath, One Woman's Journey into Understanding Islam and Gender Equality, was released. This book examines the changing roles that men and women confront in a globalizing world, the world that she has observed firsthand through her humanitarian work and her experiences as the first female vice president of Nexon Inc. For Donna, ideas and thinking go both ways. Issues that she encounters in other countries, questions about the role of culture, faith, and gender in community, are not asked as frequently in the West. But, just because we don't ask these questions doesn't mean that we don't struggle with the answers. It is for this reason that Donna believes the dynamic tension between different worldviews, open and closed, can be positive and constructive. It's not necessary to agree, it's necessary to keep talking.